I lied about Hirschbach. Well, I didn't, I didn't intentionally lie about Hirschbach. Cage, bro. Look like he bought that from the circus, bro. He bought a monkey cage and a lion cage from the circus to haul freaking tubing in, bro. Then join Prime. Join them. But if you want to ride the left lane and ride the thunder, baby, you come to Hirschbach because we start Hirschbachin'. Another beautiful sunrise, another beautiful day. But I saw these other trucks coming in, and that's why I decided to go ahead and take the back. What's up, guys? It's 3 in the morning, and uh, rise and shine. It's money time, baby. On we go, man, coming off home time and uh, struggling this morning, bro. Really struggling. I could I could shoot some cool shots, like, like cut shots of me packing my bags and going to the truck, but we're just going to skip to the truck today. <laughs> Woo, baby! Hirschbacking! We're Hirschbacking, baby! Freaking getting it done. Four or five in the morning, bro. It don't matter. It don't even freaking matter, dude. We're just about to get it done. We're loaded up. We're gonna head on over to Edwardsville, Kansas. We're gonna pick up a load and we're doing something different today. We're freaking going down to Jackson, Mississippi. That's my old stomping grounds. Not really. I used to live in Grenada, Mississippi though. That's a fact, my man. That's a solid freaking fact. Don't forget it, baby. We're freaking Hirschbacking and we're rodeo ranching, baby. Let's get this show on the road, man. Picking up the trailer. Y'all know what it is. Bad boys on continuous. Tell you why she's on continuous. I don't know, but she's on continuous. Sometimes I'll wear my cowboy hat. I don't know, man. It makes it feel different when you got a freaking cowboy hat on, man. I don't know how to explain it. It just makes you freaking feel different. That's all I got to say about it. Hey. You need to talk to her. You need to talk to her. She acted like she didn't even know who I was when I came in here. <laughs> hmm? That's right. Let them know. Spanglish. <laughs> Have a good one. So I don't know if you can tell from the map or not, but we are headed down 49. We're going to take 49 all the way to Interstate 40 and it's a beautiful morning this morning we are on our way just awesome you know I like getting an early start in the morning I really do um, it gets you all the way through traffic so I went around KC didn't have a lot of traffic just smooth making good time I've got 657 miles to drive today uh, probably get hoping to get around 600 miles total knocked out today and then we'll have 57 miles to drive tomorrow we'll get there at 9 a.m. and uh, yeah just kind of start our day doing that I've got to stop for fuel with these reefers and stuff you want to kind of fuel up as late as possible so I'll probably just fuel up my truck get some def and then as time progresses on we will fuel up the reefer as I get closer to the destination and deliver tomorrow morning. Bro, what is this thing, dude? I've never seen a trailer like this, man. It's like he's got some underground hoses or something, man. But it's like a cage, bro. Look like he bought that from the circus, bro. He bought a monkey cage and a lion cage from the circus to haul freaking tubing in, bro. That is it right there, dude. I've never seen anything like that before, man. And I've been out here for six freaking years, and I've never seen a monkey cage freaking haul an underground wiring tubing or something, bro. Unreal, man. Anyways, we're down here, man. We're southern Missouri. And, uh, bro, you can tell we're about to get into Oklahoma, man. But I've got something special. I got something freaking special for y'all, man. We're stopping at a special place. This comes recommended by one of my best buddies. So, I'm gonna show y'all where we're going next, man. So don't quit the video. I know some of y'all wanna quit the video. Don't freaking quit the video, bro. Just hang with me. We're going somewhere with this, man, I promise. We're gonna go. 
Does anybody know? Anybody know where we're gonna go? It ain't Dairy Queen. It ain't Dairy Queen, bro. I really hope this place is open too, man. If they're not open, I'm gonna be disappointed, dude. I forgot to check and see if they were open. Oh, man. That's all right, bro. We'll, we'll go. We're going. We're going. So this is actually Webb City. It's right outside of Joplin, Missouri. And we're on our way to, uh, like I said, Jackson, Mississippi. But we're headed over here, man. There's a nice, nice place, bro. Comes highly recommended for some of the best ice cream. And the thing about these people are, bro, and here, I'll tell you this, man. The reputation, the name of the place is named Brahms. Brahms Ice Cream. And the reputation of these people is they're like super nice when you go into these places. So we're gonna see how nice they really are. And we're gonna test out the ice cream to see if it's really that good. We're here at Brahms. I have looked this up already on Google Maps. The truck parking is around back. So hopefully, I hope it's around back. Yeah, it's a, there it is, I see it. Bro, I start getting scared, man. I was like, bro, I hope, I hope there's truck parking here, bro. I really do, man. Oh yeah, dude, look at this. It says no overnight parking. So that's why there's nobody here. All right, man, this is good, man. This is good. So first we're gonna walk the dog. It's the first thing we gotta do. Poseidon, you wanna go outside? Yeah, he wants to go outside. Look at this, guys. He's a big boy, but he's a good boy. Yes, he's a big boy, but he's a good boy. Yeah, that's my boy. Mwah. I love you, buddy. I love you. Actually, can we do a can we do the hot fudge with strawberry ice cream? You got that? Mm-hmm. Let's do that. Mix it up a little bit, man. Is that it for you, man? That'll be it. All right, give me 282. know what I'm doing I'm changing the battery on my GoPro because they run out quick it's the only complaint one of the complaints I have against the GoPro is just the battery kind of runs out a little bit quicker but that's all right so listen guys I lied about Hirschbach well I didn't I didn't intentionally lie about Hirschbach but I didn't tell the truth. And that's because I was sent the wrong information. So we're gonna get to it, man. Let's, get, we gotta get this low. We gotta get a bunch of miles out of the way before we start talking about this. So let's get this, uh, let's get this load going, man. It's about the bonus. You know, I've had a lot of people, yeah, look at this big boy. Look at him. He needs some attention. Oh, he needs some attention. So, a lot of people have been messaging me about the Tyson account and all that kind of stuff, man. And, uh, bro, I, and I did, I talked about the pay and stuff. And so I just feel like I just need to explain a few things and correct myself. So, and some people called in that worked here on a dedicated account and they were complaining about stuff. So, about their pay compared to my pay. So, I just want to get it out there in the open, bro, because some people get all tore up. They get all tore up about a bunch of stuff, dude. So let's clarify everything in this video. Let's just clarify it. All right. We got the battery changed. We're about to take off. We're having a good day, man. Good Monday. Good Monday, baby. Money making Monday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm. There you go, passing an old prime truck. Tell you something you want to go 65 or 62 miles an hour if you're a company driver then join prime join them 
But if you want to ride the left lane and ride the thunder, baby, you come to Hirschbach because we start Hirschbachin. That's what we do, baby. We're governed at 70. Rolling down the interstate. High and ride, boys. Riding that thunder in the left lane, old son. Hey, man, I heard somebody was talking smack about me at Prime. And I want you to know I don't care. I want you all to know I love everybody that works at Prime. But if you want to join the elite fleet, baby, and ride the thunder of the lightning in the left lane, baby, then come on over to Hirschbach, man. I'm just letting y'all know the real deal, baby. I'm letting y'all know the real deal. You know how I can always tell a rookie at the Fuel Island, bro? <laughs> you know how I can always tell one, bro? They got the freaking safety vest on, bro. <laughs> I can always tell a rookie when I see the freaking safety vest, bro. Listen, man, you ain't gotta wear your safety vest in the freaking fuel island. I see drivers wearing their safety vest while they're on the interstate and all that stuff, bro. Listen, man, you definitely look like a rookie when you got your safety vest on, bro. What are you, what are you scared of, bro? That, that truck's gonna get in like gear and run you over or something, bro? As long as get them air brakes pulled, you'll be all right. We'll see you, I promise. Anyways, just just saw a driver with the safety vest on, so I thought I'd uh, so I thought I'd let y'all know, man. Anyways, we gotta get going, man. Get this show back on the road. Yeah, we're here in Little Rock, Arkansas, and we're on the 30. We're gonna get off on the what is that? The 5:30 to Pine Bluff, headed southbound. Things have changed down here, man. They got a lot of new construction going on and um, very interesting. Here's a question, man. You see this, they got construction going on over here, man. What are they doing? They got cut, they cut these trees down and then back a little ways, they had mounds of like dirt and mulch and stuff kind of piled up. I'm just kind of curious as to what they were doing over there, man. I mean, it, I, I, it's very, I just couldn't figure it out. So if any of y'all know, let me know in the comments section for sure. All right, guys, we're about to call it quits for the night. And there is a place here. It says for dine-in customers only truck parking. All right, I think we'll be good. I don't think it's gonna be a problem to park here because I am gonna dine in here. This is a barbecue restaurant, Hoots Barbecue and Steaks. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping, let's see, how do I wanna park? That's the thing about these gravel lots, bro. There's no lines, you don't know what the rules are. I plan to leave at five in the morning. So I'm going to straight up right up through here right here I think this is gonna be good enough for me so let's see here I am done we are finished for the day here uh, hold on boy hold on boy yeah uh, I know you guys can't smell it but that barbecue smells amazing I'll be honest with you, it probably doesn't hold a candle to Kansas City barbecue, but you know, we're gonna make it happen. I'm gonna show y'all what it's about today after after old Poseidon gets done doing his his business. It just feels, dude, it feels like the ground is shaking. It's like an earthquake going on or something. I don't even know, man. So if you see, I came in right over here and I parked right here. So that leaves enough room for people to kind of get around me and a lot of room on the left side i'm the, I'm the first truck here i just you know if i if i see trucks coming in here and they're like backing up over here or something i'll readjust where i park i just didn't know where to park man so i'm gonna i'm gonna just kind of leave it there and then i'm sure there'll be people here that park here every day that are gonna know what to do so but yeah so this is the first time i'm gonna try this restaurant if i come across a good mom and pop like that looks like a rundown building and those usually have the best places to park and stuff so 
we're gonna try this barbecue place out and see what we got going on that's for sure we're walking in baby get it dude old hoots barbecue and steaks let's do it man it smells so good dude hey how's it going uh just one Alrighty, uh, soft serve at the moment, so you just go up there, place your order. Then, okay. Um, gotcha. Thank you. Did the baked beans have uh, yeah. onions in them? Uh, did the baked beans have onions? They do. They do. Alright, just give me some uh, potato salad and french fries, I guess. Frog legs. The six. Yeah. Yeah, give me just a fact. I have never tried frog legs before, but I feel like this is a good place to try. And the ribs are coming right out of the smoker. That's a solid win right there for me. We are officially leaving Hoots Barbecue. Goodbye to the frog legs. The restaurant was pretty good, man pretty good and um, the ribs were pretty good too the the barbecue was kind of like a mustard and mustard vinegar taste to it so it's like South Carolina barbecue is what it tasted like but the ribs were pretty good man everything was good uh, not as good as Kansas City barbecue we'll call it what it is but um, that being said guys listen man we're on our way to this delivery and then once i get this load delivered man we're going to talk about um some misconceptions i portrayed in a video about hirschbach so uh we're headed down there to jackson mississippi once again so let's get with the program baby another beautiful sunrise another beautiful day another chance for a new start things are good life is good let me tell y'all something, man. You can look at things that you don't have in life, or you can look at the blessings God's given you today, man. And I'm going to choose today to look at the things that God has given me, man, and what he has blessed me with, and I'm just appreciative of it, and I'm thankful for breath in my lungs this morning because he didn't have to give me breath, but he chose to do that this morning, and I'm thankful. All right, guys. Here we are. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. Gonna pull into this place. See what we're gonna come up on. We got Swift up here. They don't know what they're doing. Going 15 miles an hour, man, come on. Let's get it up the road there, softball. Come on, man. That's all right, bro. We just gotta be, here's the thing, man. You can't rush. Look, listen, man, I am an hour early to my appointment right now. I'm literally 0.2 miles away and this is why you know you you show up early man because you never know when Swift is gonna get in your way when I feel rushed when I'm impatient when I'm doing things you know that that sort of nature all right Swift what are you gonna do you gonna take the turn did you did, this is what they didn't pre-plan oh it's an owner operator it's a freaking owner operator man I guess he was confused about where to go we're at Merchant, Merchant's Food Service, my man. That's where we're at. We're here to deliver some loads. Let's see what Swift does here. Do you have to, I, I, I want, he's, obviously he's never been here before. That's pretty obvious, but all right. Let's see if we got to pull up the app. Uh, we have arrived at the Consigny. That right beside him. Ain't that right, big boy? Oh, he's a big boy, but he's a good boy. Park along the yellow poles and go into the door that has the red top. So we're gonna park along the yellow poles. Exactly what they said to do. So we gotta look for the building that has the red top. And so they gave me this card. Check this last, so it has like six rules on it. Listen to this last rule. It says, all visitors must comply with the personal hygiene policy posted in the front of the visitor's logbook. Come on, the 
Hey, how's it going? Good, good. All right, we got to read over this paper. And from there, we back into door 25. So, that's what we're going to do, man. It is, yeah. I was scared I was going to I didn't know if it'd be out window. She said she was scared of you, Poseidon. She said she thought she was glad the window wasn't down, but you're such a sweet boy. Let me tell you something about my dog. That dude is a deterrent away from my truck, man. Ain't nobody messing with my truck. All right, we're going to dock door 25, so we gotta turn this thing around somewhere. I think I'm gonna turn it around down here at the very end. Come on, man, I I'm driving straight ahead, my man. Straight ahead. Thank you for crossing the road for me. That's the Swift driver. He's an owner operator, man. He's just pulling a Swift trailer. Okay. Maybe I overestimated. Oh my gosh, bro. I thought I could really make a turn here, but that doesn't seem to have happened. All right. This is gonna be a very, 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 very tight turn. Dock door 25. All right, we made the turn. We made the turn. Let's get out here and open these, open these doors. So we want to keep the seals. All right. Cargo looks good. Like this other seal. Uh, all right, yeah, cargo is good, man. It's looking real good. So they said keep the seals, and then when you bring in your uh, receipt for the lumper fee, then you uh, bring in the seals with that. So you keep the seals until you have to go back in the office. Oh yeah, there's Miss Sexy right there, man. You see her. That's a joke, by the way. Just kidding. All right, so here is, this is my door right here, door 25. So I got a truck right here parked in front of me. Ah, man. I'm thinking, should I wait till this truck moves? I'm thinking I'm gonna wait till this truck moves because that's taking up two or three feet right there, man. Well, here comes another truck, man. See, they're coming in now. All right, bro, we're just gonna go ahead and take this for what it is. All right, we also got this space over to us. This is just some, this is it right here, man. Oh my gosh. There you go boss you got it man we're gonna pull up use every inch we have All right. every inch we have matters all right
just kind of keep doing back and forth, man. Back and forth, man. All right, let's, I just got to see. I can't see where I'm at. All right, yeah, we're straightened it up now. That's, this is golden right here, man. This is freaking golden. Pick up a side dock and break your seal. Unhook trailer and pull forward a little bit. A little bit. Once receiving is completed with load, you will get an online payment text. Bring in your seal after your payment goes through. All right. Hit the fifth wheel button. Wait for the fifth wheel. Okay, the red light's on. Pull the tractor brake. Pull up just a little bit. Okay, so I saw these trucks over here coming in. I was going to wait for this guy to come in, but I saw these other trucks coming in, and that's why I decided to go ahead and take the back. Also, if you can look over here at, in my rear view or in my side mirror, you can see there's no trailer on the other side of me. And so that's why I, d I d decided to point and go in there. So, yeah. That's what we got going on. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do to freaking make it happen, guys. So I gotta watch my cell phone, see if they text me. Also, I'm gonna talk about Hirschbach and the bonus because there's been some controversy about that. So we're gonna get to that for sure. Let's get down to the nitty gritty of everything, guys. So, um, I did a video and I mentioned my bonus in the video. The monthly bonus that dedicated drivers get. The information that I received was the over the road bonus. So the over the road bonus is usually around $693, $700. My bonus, the dedicated bonus, it's different. It's like one cent for the first zero to six months you're on the dedicated account and then two cents from six to twelve months and then it just kind of goes up from there like every year or so like it gives you a third three cents four cents to be honest with you it's not that big of a bonus it's it's really not i'm just being honest i mean it's not it's not much to really work for so 1350 and then my bonus, I think, yeah. So it, it's, um, you calculate the math, man. I just wanted to clarify, man, because I didn't want anybody to think that I'm lying about something or skewing the numbers or anything like that. I do take great pride in the information that I present, okay? I just want everybody to know that. I love you guys, man, seriously. And, uh, you know, and, like I learned this a long time ago. When you talk about pay, people are always like, I make more than you. I make this and I make that. Like, okay, you know, then you talk about lease purchase and then you just got those people come on here. And it's like, bro, it's like maybe somebody tried to lease purchase and it didn't work good for them. And I'm sorry, like I, you know, like it, like I, it's whatever, bro. I am a lease purchase driver because of the 1099 tax status that I get from it and I, I think I've communicated this very clear many times and that's why I'm a lease driver here I feel like for the pay for the tax status and how well Hirschbach has always treated me and mind you when I first came to Hirschbach back in 2019 I was a nobody like nobody knew who I was I was anonymous bro no like I didn't I was getting not that great. I mean, bro, I remember posting videos and only like 50 to 100 views on a video. Like for real, man. Like nobody was watching me, nothing. And uh, dude, Hirschbox where I built the channel up, that's when things started to happen for me. And then I became an owner operator. Things really jumped up a lot then too. Hirschbox has just always been fair to me. Like has there been bad things that happened to me at Hirschbox? Yeah, dude, I can list off 
things that happen, man. And you know what? Not everybody that works in the office at Hirschbach is perfect. Not every driver that works at Hirschbach is perfect. And you know what? Wildbeard isn't perfect, bro. You know, go talk to my mom, dude. She can tell you every fault I have. You know, like, bro, it, 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 it's not rocket science, man. But what I am saying is, is that Hirschbach is fair with me. They work with me. And, uh, and I've got good relationships built up here at this company. And could I go leave this company, go somewhere else, and make more money? Maybe, but every time you leave a company and join another company, you always roll in the dice. You get what I'm saying, bro? It's always a roll of the dice, and that's why I'm still here at Hirschbach. And maybe Hirschbach didn't work for some other people. Hey, I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry it didn't work for you, bro. And but maybe it did and you know I've seen Hirschbach really help a lot of different people man I'm still in contact with other people drivers here and drivers that left Hirschbach and have gone and did something different but they're just like dude Hirschbach was always decent with me and so I just think that longevity man you just build up your relationships you build up trust you build up your reputation here and then you're gonna bring something to the table when it comes to Hirschbach you know if you're happy where you're at stay there if you want to come to Hirschbach man talk to Jordan message me on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok or wherever man and I'll try to get back with you but listen guys I love you guys stay dangerous out there wild beard out